about. Hi guys! Okay, so today's video is going to be about length retention because I've gotten a few questions from people about length retention and how to get your hair long. I'm gonna give you guys five tips for length retention and really you only need five tips. Like, just like washing your vagina, literally your hair growth is the same. It, simple straight to the point you have to do a million and eight things blah 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 that's it so um first things first i would say moisture that's the key to length retention when you have afro like hair okay i would say moisture deep conditioning um oils oils do not moisturize the only way that you're going to get hydrate or hydration in your hair is by water um any other way is not a way there's no product that is just going to put, that's going to hydrate your hair. You get me? You feel me? There's only products that will actually seal in. Like even creams. I feel like even creams are just kind of sealing in the water. Actually um, started doing regular like deep conditions and I had to do them like twice a week. Um, you just have to moisturize, deep condition, deep condition, deep condition, deep condition, and then get your hair back to that moisturized state. Number two, I would say is less brushing and combing and more low manipulation styles. Like you do not have to have these super cut parts unless the style calls for that. And if you're going to do a style that calls calls for a whole bunch of nitpicking and rat tail combs and all that stuff in your natural hair, it better last you. It better last you at least like a week. It better last you that long so you don't have to touch it again. Um, other than that, I'd say just kind of not finger detangling because I don't even really finger detangle because that takes too long and I don't have time I don't have time like I'm, I mean I probably do got time I'm just not gonna do that in the shower when I'm trying to um deep condition or I'm conditioning that's when I'm finger detangling finger detangling um and getting my hair detangled um I don't really use a whole lot of brushes and combs unless I'm trying to smooth something down or anything like that and even then it's very minimal so I would say stop brushing more low manipulation styles number three um this one is more for i mean this is actually for everybody because everybody needs protein in their hair but when i say not too much i mean not too much for my low porosity girls so i have low porosity hair meaning um i don't i'm kind of protein sensitive so i still that does not mean that you take completely out protein no you still have to have protein very light protein for low porosity hair you should have hydrolyzed 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 protein um i don't even know what that means but you know what hydrolyzed protein means like comment that below because i don't even know what that means i just know that it works for me um yes okay number four is no tension like to have length retention no tension on your hair I'm not talk I'm not talking about like like you twisted your hair like okay you twisted your hair that's it I'm talking I'm talking like sew-ins I'm talking braids I'm talking crochets I'm talking like gluing your hair I'm talking about that that is not gonna grow your hair I was a firm believer for about two to three years that um that sew-ins was gonna grow out my hair all the way down my back and that didn't happen um i started actually i started off with longer hair and then i started getting sew-ins and stuff and it was just doo, it went downhill um so i would recommend if you are gonna get a sew-in what i started to do towards the ending of me even getting sew-ins because i stopped getting sew-ins because i don't, I don't no no thank you so if you are gonna get sew-ins i would just get them looser um i recommend getting a net making it loose and then also not having leave out because you're gonna be burning that part to make it straight unless it's curly hair um but even then i still do recommend like a frontal or like a closure or something so then you're kind of like not 
ruining your edges completely and if you do get a frontal or a closure do not put glue on your hair like don't put glue on your hairline i don't care what they say i don't care if they say oh look guess what i got this glue and it's gonna be on the front of your head and it's not gonna take out your edges because it's going to take out your edges like it's going to trust me i know like trust me trust me don't don't just don't do that um also, if you are going to be getting your hair braided or like twisted or anything, um, make sure that the person that's doing it is um, not doing them too tight. And I do know that some people be trying to get attitudes when you're like, um, you're doing my hair too tight. Um, if she try to snap, get up, take them little braids out, throw them back at her and get up and walk out because your hair on your head is worth more than that hair that she's putting in your head. My number five would be just patience. Um, that's how you really start to get length, obviously, is throughout the time. Um, so as long as you're taking care of the hair that's on your head, you will have in two years, three years, you should at least have 12 inches around there. You should at least have that if you are taking care of your hair. If you're not taking care of your hair, it will show because you will not have that length or tension. Um, so I will go through them again. One, moisture. Two, less brushing and less combs. Three, protein. And I should also say having balance. Four, no tension. And five, patience. Like, in, that's it. Like, that's it. So thank you for watching my video. Um, if you guys have any more questions about hair, makeup, clothes, freaking anything, I will be able to do that for you guys. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Hang loose. Hang loose. And stay strong, y'all.